Well, hello everybody. Today we're going to be making a bow with Avs Pro Page Curl. The first thing we want to do is open a new image. And my image is 1951 by 310 at 72 pixels per inch. Of course, if you're going to make this into something for scrapbooking, digital scrapbooking, you want to make it 300 or 200 pixels per inch. Okay, so I've already had my made. I made a uh, an edge with um, lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new image once I've created my ribbon. And I used 2000 by 1000, 72 pixels per inch, because we don't need it to be photo quality because I don't plan on printing this. We're going to edit copy this and then we are going to go edit paste as new layer. Then we're going to duplicate this layer a couple times so we have an extra. Then we're going to go to Effects, Avs Pro Page Curl 2.0. Now I have given you, um, I'm attaching to on the web page here, a, uh, a setting. So you're going to load your setting. It's already done for you. Half bow 3. And look, you already have a bow. All you got to do is click Apply. And OK. Let that load a minute. Okay, so now we have our little bow. We're going to move that. And we're going to hide these layers with the extras. We're going to duplicate this one. And then we're going to go to Image Mirror. And then we're going to duplicate that one. And then we're going to go Image Flip. And we're going to flip our first bow layer. Well, actually, we're going to duplicate that, and then we're going to go to Image, Flip, and there you go. Now you're going to want to position this till you get it where you like it. Okay, so I've positioned mine to where I like it. I moved these layers up and down so that this one was on top, and this one was on top, and these ones were on the bottom. You can do it however you want. Now you want to merge visible. And then we're going to work with our Mesh Warp Tool. So we're going to grab that. I have my settings at 6 and 5. And uh, Show Mesh, obviously. And then this is when you start to play. The goal is to make it as realistic as possible. And we also want to sc scrunch it up so that we can put our little tie around it. Okay, so due to time on the video, I had to kind of do it already. So I'm going to show you how I, you know, the, the I just basically pulled one from up here, down here, one from up here, down here, and one from down here, up here, and left the ones in the middle basically the same. And so we get like this scrunched feel to it. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to go back to here. And when we go to another layer, it's going to ask us if we want to save the settings that we just did. And of course, we're going to want to save them. But now we need to go to this layer. See, told you they're going to ask us. So we click OK. We're going to hide this layer. And um, like I said, we're going to hide this layer. We don't need to look at our bow right now. So we're going to hide the bow layer. And then we're going to grab our selection tool and cut about the size we think we need. I'd say that was probably about good. And we had had it cut. And then we want to paste it as a new layer. And we want to select none. And then we can hide that other layer and just get this one. And then we're going to rotate. We want to do free rotate. Make sure that you check rotate single layer around canvas. And we want to rotate at 90 degrees. Left or right doesn't matter. And there we go. Now we want to unhide that and move this up and then we are back to our mesh warp tool. I'm going to move this a little bit to where it is where I need it to be. We're going to go to our mesh warp tool and we're going to start warping it and I just usually pull the corners down first uh, and start playing with it from there until you get it to where you want it to look good. Okay, so I played with mine a little bit. You know, it takes time to get it exactly the way you want to. 
Remember, edit, undo is your favorite tool ever. <laughs> so once I get it the way I want it to look, and this is about perfect, I, I, I'm happy with this, I am going to add a shadow, and uh, it's going to tell me I want to save those. Yes, I want to save those settings. So we save those settings and wait for it to load because it's a big document. And then we're going to add a little drop shadow so we get a little bit of dimension there. See? Okay. Now, you may also want to, once you get it, the drop shadow in, you can kind of see that it doesn't look exactly right. So then I just started playing. Then I just play with it a little more until I get it where I want it to be. You know, actually, that's wonderful, except for the one underneath isn't. So I'm going to do the one underneath again. It's all about fine tuning and get it in exactly the way you want to. So there, there. Look at that. Much better. Now it looks more realistic. And uh, then you press. Uh, I usually just press something to get away from, you know, like the move tool or something, so I can have it exactly. See? And there you go. You have your bow. It's pretty, pretty perfect and pretty close to finished. Now you see where this is kind of turned here, curved? Well, we're going to add a little shadow to it. Very easy to do that. Make sure we're on the layer. We're on the bow layer, see? And, uh, oh yes, we want to hit OK because we just already... That little thing likes to come up a lot. You just hit OK. Alright, so we want to add a little bit of a, a dimensional drop. A little shadow there. And we want to go to Select, Modify, and Feather, because we don't want it to be a hard one. I have it set at 12. Click OK. And then go to Adjust, Brightness and Contrast. And I want it to be, I want to put my brightness down. And I just kind of keep looking and see how it looks down there. Five, negative 5 was good for mine. Yours may not be. You might also want to adjust the contrast probably zero. So it's more natural. Now that changes it a little bit. Okay, so that's that's about where I want it. And I click OK and select none. And see now I have like a little dimension there. And to add to that, whenever you put a, a, a shadow, you want to put a little highlight. So we're going to highlight the outsides of this. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Mine are just kind of all out there. But you always want to do feather so that it blends in real nice. And then instead of, we're going to go back to adjust, brightness, contrast. Instead of doing um, the dark, we're going to go for light. We're going to go for brightness. We're going to make it bright. And I'm not exactly sure where I want to go with this. Oh, six will be fine for me. May not be for you. And now we have a little bit of a contrast there. And it looks like it's folded. Okay, so now we're going to work on our... We can actually merge these layers now that we got them the way we want them. Merge visible. You know, you can also add some dimensions here by going like this. The same thing you just did. Modify, feather, and 12, okay, and then add a little bit wherever you want, you know play with it, learn, you know, what looks right, what doesn't look right. Um, I would probably do that. 107, I would say, is a little dark. And now, of course, that's too dark. But, but you, you get the general idea. And select none. And then you got yourself a little bit of a, a shadow there. Now, mine may be a little dark, and we may want to change that later, but we'll do that later. For now, we want to do something else. What we want to do is we want to take this and rotate your bottom layers and make them um, little stringy things. You can do this by, oops, edit undo. You can do this by cutting these or however you want to do it. I'm kind of out of time now, so um, I'm going to let you go and you can play and show me what you did.